Uh, hi, so I, I just thought I would make a quick screencast. Um, and this is motivated by the fact that a number of you have been unable to join in on um, scheduled Google Hangouts, um, video conferencing meetings that we've scheduled in the most recent past, right? Um, and this, this actually also includes the third years, which is probably joke of the year, really, but that's besides the point. Um, so an effective and easy way that I've found to work is um, to take advantage of Google so-called work profiles. And so the idea behind work profiles is um, you, you, you want to separate activities associated with personal uh, email accounts from work-related email accounts. Um, and this applies not only to um, video conferencing meetings using Google Hangouts Meet, but also um, uh, emails, right? Um, so when you set up a work profile, you'll be able to easily access your work-related emails, so emails that are sent through to those various um, calls mailing lists, for instance. Um, and also you'll be able to easily access the um, the Google Google Groups um, URL or if you're wanting to use a web interface as opposed to your email application. Okay. So I'm going to use my mobile device as an example here. And um, so what I've done is I've actually paged um, my work-related profile um, because I want to use this as an example. And so, okay, it's recording. So the thing is when you, when you configure an Android device for the first time, what you tend to do is you tend to associate it with an email address, right? And this is typically a Gmail, um, a Gmail account. Uh, so in my case, if I tap, uh, if I go to settings and then scroll down to accounts here, um, you notice that currently the email address or the account that's associated with this device is this personal, um, this personal email address or account, Gmail account. Um, so the question is how, how exactly do you go about setting up a web profile? Well, it turns out it's easy really. Um, so what you do is you, you go to settings uh, and, and of course, this might be different depending on the version of Android that you're using. In certain instances, the actual specific device. So this example uh, makes use of Android uh, 9, right? So Android Pie. Um, so I go to settings and then um, I'll scroll down to accounts here. Um, when I tap on accounts, there's an option right below here that says add account. So the add account to allow you to add a new, I would associate a new account with this device. Um, and so on, on the next screen, make sure you choose um, Google because um, our UNSA assigned email addresses are, um, are actually managed by, by Google, right? Okay, so um, once you choose Google um, on the next screen, um, on the sign in screen, you want to type in your UNSA assigned email address, right? So in my case here, I'll just type in my, my institution assigned email address or my university assigned email address, which is that one. And then I'll just click the next button. Um, on, on the next button, I mean, this is all intuitive here. On the next button, what you want to do is you want to type in the password associated with that account. Click the next button. Um, and then depending on how you've configured your device, in my case, um, it asks me to I go through a two-step verification process where I need to verify that I, I'm actually wanting to associate my account or my device with this uh, new account. Um, okay, and then I'll just um, accept Google's terms of service. So I'll just say agree here. <clears throat> um, and then I'll just wait for for the work profile to be configured. Now this, this, um, this takes... Um, um, a few minutes to to complete, so you're just going to have to patiently wait until the configuration is done. Okay, so you notice that um, um, a screen comes up here, which um, facilitates the actual work profile creation process. What you want to make sure on this screen is make sure that this I do not want a work profile checkbox is unchecked, right? So you want to make sure it's not checked. Um, once you do that, you click the next button um, and then tap on the accept and continue button, right? Um, so what's happening right now is the, the work profile is actually being created and being set up on my behalf. 
Um, so be, behind the scenes, what, what's actually happening is, is that uh, default applications associated with this work profile are going to be set up. So you wait for the work profile to be created. Um, and then after a short file, it should be, um, the creation process should, should, should finalize. <clears throat> so um, the, the idea behind work profiles, like I was saying, is that, um, I don't know if I said this in the previous recording, but as, as the work profile is being set up, there are certain different applications that are going to be set up and configured for you. So things like your Gmail, your Gmail um, application, um, so that would be set up and configured in your work profile. Um, I believe uh, the current application as well and things like the drive application. Um, so for you to be able to, to use the Hangouts Meet application, what you want to ensure is ensure that you explicitly install the Hangouts Meet application and I'll showcase exactly how this is done as soon as the web profile is, is completely configured. Um, and there's, there's, an easy, there's an easy way of finding out if an application is associated with your work profile. All you do is you search for the application name. And typically, um, work profile-centric applications normally have a blue briefcase associated with them. So there's typically a blue briefcase icon on the bottom right of the application icon itself within Android. And they'll showcase all of these different things. Uh, and, and so what typically happens is for you to be able to use the work profile centric application, you'll have to explicitly open up that application. So for instance, if you're wanting to access um, emails coming in from your Unza assigned email address, what you want to do is you click the Gmail application with the blue briefcase. Um, on the other hand, if you're wanting to access personal um, or emails coming into your personal account, what you do is you you, you open up the application that doesn't have the blue briefcase associated with it. So just a little while longer and then you should be done, hopefully. Just wait. So in, uh, uh, again, in terms of the other applications that you might want to use, these, these can be installed as and when needed. So for instance, when, when you get to start looking at uh, productivity tools in uh, 1020, for instance, as the first years, um, you can then install uh, things like uh, Google Sheets and uh, Google Docs um, and Google Slides with, within your work profile. Um, so on this screen, um, uh, this screen just confirms that the work profile has been successfully installed. You see it's uh, actually synchronized. Um, it has been synchronized. So everything has been synchronized with my uh, university assigned email account or the data is synchronized. And all you have to do now is just tap on next um, and then boom. So your work profile has been created for you. Now, uh, for you to be able to access applications associated with your work profile, depending on your version of Android again, notice that if I, if I just uh, contextualize all the different applications on my device here, I have two tabs, the personal tab and the work tab. So if I go to the work tab, I get to see the applications associated with my, my work profile. So you see the current application here, the, the Gmail application I was talking about. And so when I open it up uh, for the first time, it will ask me to configure this. So I'll say, take me to Gmail, and then boom, I will have uh, access to, um, to emails that are coming in uh, to my institutional assigned email account. Compare and contrast with emails that are coming in through to this personal account, right? Um, so this will take me to my personal uh, personal Gmail account, right? Which is, uh, there you go. Okay, so, but you notice that uh, currently if I, if I search for, for applications on my phone and if I say I want to look at the Meet application, um, the Hangouts Meet application, you notice that the Hangout Meet application I currently have installed is only associated with my personal my personal Gmail account. How do I know that? Because like I said, all applications that are associated with a work profile have, have a blue briefcase icon in the bottom right corner, right? So this Meet application doesn't have a blue briefcase icon. Compare on the other hand, if I search for Gmail, right? I have two Gmail uh, apps installed on the, on, on the device. One has this, uh, this one here, it has a blue icon, right? And then the other one doesn't have the blue briefcase icon. 
right? So for you to be able to, to have a meet application that has a blue briefcase icon or one that is associated with your personal profile, what you want to do is you want to install that application explicitly within your work profile. The way you do that is you need to use the, you need to access Play Store using your work profile. So again, search for Play Store apps in your, on, installed on your device. And if I search for Play Store here, you will notice that I have two Play Store accounts associated with my device. So what I want to do is I want to install, I want to access the Play Store application that has the blue briefcase icon. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to install this Meet application, right? Google Hangouts, Hangouts Meet application, Hangouts Meet application, which is here within my work profile. So I'll just tap on install here and then Play Store do its thing, you know, verify and then install it. Once it's installed and I search for, for the Meet application, you notice now that I have two Meet applications. One that is associated with my work profile has that blue briefcase icon and the one that is associated with my personal profile does not have the blue briefcase icon, right? Um, you can do the same for um, these other applications like Chrome and I'll leave it up to you as an exercise or something. But so you notice now that if I, if I, if, if I access the, if I search for Meet and I access the Meet application without the blue briefcase icon, um, just switch off the, the webcam there, the camera. Um, by default, the, the Meet application that doesn't have the blue briefcase icon will be associated with my personal account. But when you're wanting to join in in meetings um, that have been scheduled by your respective lecturers, like Lighton, for instance, what you want to do is you want to op open the, the Meet application that has the blue briefcase icon. So you search for Google Meets here, and then you click the one with the blue briefcase icon. And because I'm doing this for the first time, you to ask me to explicitly grant access to um, certain components of my device. I mean, I'll switch off the video as well here. And you notice now that um, this particular Meet application is associated with my, uh, my, UNSA, assigned, uh, my UNSA assigned email email address, right? So you swipe up to see which meet meetings have been scheduled and uh, to maybe just use a simple example here, I'll try and see if I can, I can schedule a meeting. Oops, uh, using my, using my, my computer obviously. Uh, I'll quickly schedule a meeting to see if it's going to pop up there, and I will just say, uh, work profile tutorial, right? <clears throat> and I'll say this starts at 1320 up to 1420, 1315 up to 1320. So once I set it up and I refresh here, you notice that uh, it's not coming up. And I think it's because I did not, uh, I did not explicitly type this as being um, a Hangouts or one that will make use of um, one that will make use of video conferencing. Okay, so once I save that application uh, and I refresh, that particular meeting will be will be scheduled. Right. So I, I hope this was this was useful. Uh, all you have to do is to set up a work a work profile. Thanks and uh, best wishes. Send me mail if you have any questions.